What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're going to install our hot and cold side intercooler pipes on your 2016 plus Chevy Camaro or 2013 plus Cadillac ATS. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include T20 Torx, seven, 10 and 13 millimeter sockets, quarter inch drive ratchet, driver and extensions, flathead screwdriver, and a pick. Installation time is two to three hours. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. This video provides instructions for the installation of the full kit. If you only purchased one of the pipes, some steps will not apply to your installation. Set the vehicle on an automotive lift or raise it with a jack and place it securely on jack stands. Refer to your owner's manual for safe lifting points if you're unsure. Loosen the clamp that secures the air intake to the turbocharger inlet. Disconnect the CCV hose from the intake pipe by sliding the locking tab over and pulling the hose off of the port. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor and release the harness from the intake tubing. To release the connector, slide the red locking tab up, depress the black tab, and pull the connector off the sensor. Separate the intake from the turbocharger and remove the intake by lifting it upward. The air box is held in by three pegs and grommets. Remove the five screws that secure the air diverter to the driver's side of the vehicle and remove the air diverter. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Remove the eight screws that secure the lower edge of the front bumper. Remove the four screws and six bolts that secure the splash panel to the underside of the vehicle. Then remove the splash panel. Remove the two bolts that secure the hot side intercooler pipe to the turbocharger outlet. Then remove the turbocharger gasket and set it aside. Disconnect the cold side pipe from the throttle body. There is a gray lock ring which secures this connection. To separate the pipe, turn the gray lock ring counterclockwise and pull the pipe off the throttle body. Disconnect the sensor from the cold side pipe. To release this connector, slide the locking mechanism upwards. You'll feel the connector start to slide off. Once the locking mechanism is disengaged, the connector will be easy to separate. Reach down through the engine bay on the passenger side and use a pick to lift the circlip on the cold side pipe until it locks into the detent, as shown here. This detent will hold the circlip in the unlocked position. Reach down through the engine bay on the driver's side and use a pick to unseat the circlip on the hot side pipe and move it to the side, as shown here. Reach up from underneath the vehicle and use a pick to unseat the other side of the circlip on the hot side pipe and separate the pipe from the intercooler. Reach up from underneath the vehicle on the passenger side and pull down on the circlip to lock it into the detent. Then separate the pipe from the intercooler. Here you can see the channel on the intercooler where the circlip locks into place. Keep that in mind when you reinstall the Mishimoto pipes. Remove the hot side pipe from the vehicle. The pipe can be separated into two pieces by loosening the worm gear clamp, but I was able to remove it in one piece without too much trouble by sliding it back towards the firewall and feeding the intercooler connection past the turbo first. Remove the cold side pipe from the vehicle. Here you can see a close-up of the locking ring that holds the pipe onto the throttle body and the plastic piece that houses the circlip ends and detents. 
Remove the screw that secures the sensor to the cold side pipe. Then remove the sensor by pulling it directly outward. Transfer the sensor to the Mishimoto cold side pipe and secure it with the provided bolt. Do not reuse the original screw on the Mishimoto cold side pipe. Inside the quick disconnect fittings on each pipe, there is a rubber seal. Transfer the seals from the stock pipes to the Mishimoto pipes, taking care not to reverse the direction of the seal. Lower the cold side pipe into place and slide the quick disconnect fitting over the intercooler outlet until it locks. You'll hear an audible click when the circlip drops into the channel on the intercooler. Locate the silicone elbow and clamps in your kit. The end of the elbow with the Mishimoto logo will attach to the throttle body. This is important for a good seal due to the ridge on the inside of the elbow. Slip one of the provided T-bolt clamps over the silicone elbow. Lubricate the inside of the coupler and install it to the cold side pipe. Here I just use some glass cleaner, but you can use most lubricants so long as they are not silicone based. Silicone based lubricants can damage the oxygen sensors. Install the other clamp over the silicone elbow and attach the coupler to the throttle body. Make sure that the ridge on the coupler engages the channel on the throttle body to ensure a tight seal. Make sure the coupler is fully seated over both the pipe and the throttle body, then tighten the clamps to secure the coupler. Connect the wiring harness to the sensor on the cold side pipe by pushing down on the locking mechanism to secure the connection. Locate the coupler and clamps in your hot side kit. The kit includes two different size clamps to accommodate each side of the coupler. Install the lower section of the hot side pipe by sliding it down past the turbocharger and feeding it towards the front of the vehicle. Push the pipe over the quick disconnect fitting on the intercooler until the circlip locks into place. Lubricate the transition coupler and install the wider end over the lower section of the hot side pipe. Then slip the wider clamp over the coupler, followed by the smaller clamp. Lubricate the upper section of the hot side pipe and lower it into place. Slip it into the coupler and turn the pipe until the two bolt flange lines up with the turbo outlet flange. Reinstall the turbocharger gasket between the hot side pipe and the turbocharger outlet. Then install the two original bolts to secure the pipe and tighten them completely. Adjust the coupler on the hot side pipe so both sections are engaged, then tighten the clamps to secure the coupler. Reinstall the air intake. Slip the fresh air duct of the air box into place under the radiator support. Install the intake hose to the turbocharger inlet and tighten the clamp that secures it. Align the pegs on the air box with the grommets on the body of the car and push the air box down to engage them. Reinstall the CCV hose to the intake. Connect the mass airflow harness to the intake tube and reconnect the mass airflow sensor. Lock the connector with the red tab. Install the splash panel to the underside of the vehicle and secure it with the original hardware. Install both of the air diverters to the vehicle and secure them with the original hardware. If you forgot which side is which, look on the underside of the diverters. The driver's side will be marked LH and the passenger side will be marked RH.
Install the four screws that secure the splash panel to the fender liner. Now that you have the intercooler pipes installed, double check all your connections and fire up that Camaro for a test drive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.